Well, it is uh, it is extremely important. Um, it is something that the energy aspect is is something that is probably missing uh, in the older uh, traditions and the older practices. It's similar to, uh, for example, uh, healing. No, um, in Master Chowa's uh, first book, uh, he mentions that. Uh, the healing modalities in, in the old traditions would require, for example, uh, either you give the, the patient something to drink, you know, like a, a healing tablet, uh, or you have the person uh, smell a certain aroma that helps them, uh, uh, that helps in the healing process. No? And uh, so these are physical substances. Uh, substances that the patient takes and there's also healing where there's a physical contact where they massage the, the, the aches and, and pains in the body now even more advanced than this would be where they use like in the in ancient China they had acupuncture which required because the needle is so small it's like minimal uh, interaction with the uh, uh, with the patient minimal touch of the patient now, uh, then you have the energy healing where there, you don't even have any needles at all. You don't physically touch the patient and you don't even give the patient a physical uh, uh, substance to, to, to drink or to take. So the energy aspect is, is like uh, when you look at the evolution of healing, you could say that the energy aspect is on the higher side because it's a more advanced form and it uh, recognizes that the patient, the human being, is composed not just of the physical body but also of uh, an energy aspect, the invisible energy body.